Hi again. So I would like to share a little bit about how to deal with sleep paralysis if you are working to project, have out-of-body experiences. It's pretty common that you might experience what we call sleep paralysis. And that is the phenomenon where your body is paralyzed and you can't move, but your mind is awake. Body is asleep, mind is awake. And it's something our body does so we don't act out our dreams. Our consciousness is out of our body doing whatever it's doing. And our body is completely, sh basically shut down from our sense, from our senses. And, and there are times that we will find ourselves waking awake with um, in that sleep paralysis state when we are fully, when we are moving to integrate our consciousness back into our physical body <clears throat> or, or when we are leaving the con our consciousness is leaving our physical, physical senses or leaving our body basically uh, disengaging from our physical senses. So it can be scary if you don't know what it's about. And I was, I share uh, this a lot. I was experiencing sleep paralysis 20, over 20 years ago, 23 years ago or more, almost 24 years ago, and where I didn't know about out of body experiences. And it was scaring me. And this was after my stepfather died. And so I just started spontaneously having sleep paralysis. So I did learn that you can use the sleep paralysis state to project because that is when you are in the ripe <laughs> space to disengage and have full conscious out-of-body experience. And you can feel all kinds of sensations, but it can be scary. So the the key is to be aware of it and just mm, calm yourself. And I do experience sleep paralysis still sometimes, uh, even though as, as you practice more and more and you work on, on your getting your body in, in a state where you can, you can disengage smoothly. It, um, your, your body or your, consciousness will um know your mind will know that that's what's happening eventually and you can use that as a platform to to leave your body to project so it's really important to stay calm once once um, you go into a sleep paralysis state and you wake up and you can't move and you might feel all kinds of weird sensations, hear all kinds of weird noises. You might feel a presence in the room, which is very, very common. You might feel a presence on you uh, because your your physical senses are not fully engaged. So it feels like maybe there's pressure on you, on your chest, on your body. I felt like someone was sitting on the bed. I, um, I felt like there was a presence in the room, which I realized afterwards it could, could be my guide, but it was probably my astral body moving back in and uh, into my physical body or that space. Uh, so our conscious mind will make up, <laughs> will create all kinds of mm, scary scenarios if it doesn't understand what's going on with us. That's the way the ego or the conscious, the lower mind works, keeps us in, you know, to, to help protect us. The first, first thing that um, the ego will go to is something scary, a fear of the unknown, right? And so it's really important to stay calm and then try to lift up out of your body in some way. Imagine that you're lifting up, that you're floating up. Imagine sitting up and you can try to sit up. Uh, and if you're still in that paralyzed state, just stay calm, stay in that space and try once the, mm, the really intenseness of it start to subside. And as long as you're still conscious and you haven't gone into a dream or you haven't fallen back to sleep or you haven't, yeah, your mind hasn't uh, fallen back to sleep, you can use that to lift up out of your body, roll over, do something that causes movement, or think about projecting to the door or something like that. Uh, because if you're awake during sleep paralysis, that's your 
that's your jumping off point and you can use that for to explore and what's better than that <laughs> okay thanks for watching and happy travels